We're going to make three Linux partitions using the unallocated hard drive space. We right click on the unallocated strip, then left click on the new in the menu, and we're going to make a 5 gigabyte ext3 partition. This is where all your software will go. And I assure you, 5 gigabytes is more than you will probably ever need for Linux software. ext3 is a journaling file system. I'll explain that in a moment. Click Add. Now we're going to make a Linux swap partition about when one gigabyte. People vary on what they say is the right size. I think 1024 megabytes, Linux swap, Linux swap, see? I'm going to type that in, 1024, and that gives us one gigabyte of like backup RAM that's on our hard drive and keeps our computer from slowing to a crawl if our RAM is overburdened by a really complex program. It's a good conservative amount. Now I'm going to use the rest of the unallocated disk space for what's called a home partition. Again, ext3, a journaling type file system. And this is where, like, all of your email and your music and your text and anything else that you save goes. We apply. And then, yes, we confirm the apply, as always, with the GNOME Partition Editor, and off it goes. Look to your right. You'll see some little logos flashing by from various Linux distributions. Once you have these partitions in place, you can install any of these distributions or others, too, in the same partition set by just using existing partitions, because they now are existing. When we talk about a journaling file system, by the way, this is a great safety feature. This means that if you turn your computer off by mistake instead of going through a shutdown procedure, or maybe say a power outage turns it off for you, your data and all will survive intact instead of maybe getting messed up as can happen in <clears throat> certain other operating systems. One other note, when I started with Linux in the well, in the last century, it was not so easy to do partitioning. I'm really, really glad the folks who did this GNOME partition editor made it for us. It makes this critical part of setting up your Linux installation, and especially dual booting with Windows, Windows so much easier than it used to be that, well, all I can say is thank you, developers. Thank you again.